If you take this video seriously, it will change your life. Now is the time for us to be ourselves. I was greatly impacted by my mother. She sent me a text message on some news channels saying that, yeah, I, I may not be able to go out as much as I usually like to. I may be, in, I may be asked to stay home more. And I reflect on this. And I'm like, why is life doing this? Why is there this corona thing? Why, is why, why, why? But then the insights came to me. The insight came is that, look at the word quarantine. The word quarantine means to be away or in isolation from an infectious disease. My opinion, the greatest infectious disease that we're dealing with today is negativity, is us living with inauthenticities, it's anxiety, unhappiness, it's people living the life they don't want to live. Every day, waking up in pain, waking up in strife, waking up just putting the smile on, just faking it, and living an inauthentic life. That's not true to them. And that's why I say that now is the time that we can be ourselves. If we're sitting at home most of the day, why not change the life that we're living in before? We can allow the old selves, the old us to pass. Almost a month ago, I was in a car accident that almost took my life. And being in that car accident, I walked out of there, I thought I was really dead. I literally thought I was dead, I thought I was a ghost. I walked out of my car and I looked in the driver's seat and half of my consciousness saw me in there, not here, passed away. And the other half of my consciousness in waking up, I saw that, oh, I, that, that I wasn't in there. But that split second of me seeing myself in that car, not alive anymore, was my affirmation that the aspect of me that was living a life at all that was inauthentic to me, that's not who I chose to be, that's not bringing fulfillment, he died. He literally died. And upon that death, the true me was reborn. And so what I'm saying to you is that you have the opportunity to destroy your life if it doesn't serve you before life destroys your life. You have the opportunity to really sit back and reflect, am I really living my life or am I living somebody else's life? We don't have any more time for this shit anymore. It's time for us to take a stand and start telling the people, no, that doesn't serve us for us being who we want to be. The aspect of me that died was the aspect that was a taker. He only thought about himself. He always thought about what he get out of it. And upon that passing, I am now here to tell you that I am nothing but a ghost of your imagination inviting you to be your true self. That is the only reason why this message is here. If you're seeing this message right now, this message is for you. You're not living your life. You're not living your highest joy, your highest imagining. If you don't destroy the life that doesn't serve you, if you don't destroy your old life right now, life will destroy it for you. And it's better to run out of the burning building before it gets so hot that you get burned. And some of us have been burned multiple times in life, over and over and over again. We keep getting burned. We keep getting burned. We keep getting burned. All I have to say is if you want to stop getting burned, please walk out of the burning house. This burning house can be as simple as conversations with the people that are not serving us. And you don't have to necessarily say, I'm cutting you off. 
You can say things like, hey, I don't feel like I'm living my best life. I need some time to focus on myself. I'm asking you to proactively change your environment. Proactively create yourself in a way that's reflective of who you truly are. If your job is not serving you, and if that's not reflecting your environment, I greatly, greatly, greatly recommend to start giving a lot of thought and attention to what you actually want to do. I wouldn't just necessarily just quit before knowing what you want to do next. But I would say first, get an idea of what you actually want to do. Get an idea of who you actually truly are, what brings you joy, and start giving that energy. If you're in a relationship that is a burning house, I understand that your heart is in love with that person and it's hard to see that person go. And you're, you may be afraid that you're gonna hurt that person. All I can say is that if you're in a relationship that's not serving you, that you're unhappy in, that's not giving you the best energy, you are hurting that person. Because you're getting them to believe that you're happy when you're actually not. The best way that you can help somebody is to be your authentic self, is to be you and your happiest self. And sometimes you have to tell people no to tell yourself yes. If you want to learn to fly, the first thing you do is to drop everything that's holding you down, the things that's holding you back. Drop them. And then at the same time, focus on where you want to fly to. This is a time of quarantine, of literally looking at ourselves from a perspective that says, okay, now that I'm by myself, now that I can't do anything I don't want to do, I might as well start creating a plan for my life to be who I authentically want to do, yet who I was born to be. Because when you're, when you're behaving as the person who you were born to be, you can then be free. I am here to help in any way I can. You guys have full access to me. I've given my life to this purpose, to this mission. I'm starting here in Kansas City, and it'll take me wherever it wants to be. If you want to do anything that involves being a life coach or a healer for others, well, I have a program I can help you with that. It's a life coaching certification. Go to rethinkbig.org and you can see that. If you are a person that you have goals and ambitions, but you're dealing with anxiety, you're dealing with depression, you're dealing with, you just, you can't talk yourself into doing it. You can't stay motivated. There's a course I can help you with that as well. It's called the Empowerment Course. And if you go to rethinkbig.org, do an expression session, it's the second box, and we can do that. I'm here to serve. Now, if you're a person where, if you don't resonate with life coaching at all, and in a sense, you, don't, you feel like you don't need one, well, do something, okay? It doesn't have to be with me. It can be, you can go on YouTube and find so many healers in other places. This is not a call to just watch this video and be like, okay, that was pretty motivating. Please, please do something. Do something about your life. Do something. Empower, empower others. Be your diamond. I'm asking you to let the little diamond inside of you to shine, to shine out. Some of us have been living with a mask of Thinking like we're okay, being like we're okay, but inside, behind it, we're dying. We're dying inside. I, I've, I've been there. Where you're just being strong for everybody else, but in your own quiet time, the house is just falling apart. You don't have to live like this anymore. We don't have to live like this anymore. As a nation, as a country, as a planet, we can wake up. We can, we can wake up and we can be. The, the life that we truly want to live has the capacity to support us in every single way. In every single way. So the fear of walking into that life is the only thing that's keeping us from going into that. Please, I want you to take this video seriously. Now is the time to be yourself. If you want to be a life coach, if you want empowerment in life in any way, rethinkbig.org, I'm here to serve. If I don't resonate with you, please, read, go, to, go to the library, get books, go to YouTube, 
Go, go ask your friends. The only thing that matters is do something. Do something. Now's the perfect time. We have so little time. How can we spend an entire living doing what we don't like to do? That is not a living. That is a dying. On Alan Little with a little motivation. I love you with all of my heart. Please, now that there's nothing else to do, take a step and do something. Make an impact yourself, make an impact others, and it will ultimately impact the planet. Our entire planet is praying for you. Your desire to do something, your desire to be something, no matter what it is, your desire to get out of the inauthentic life you're living, to get out of the life that's not serving you, it's not just your own desire. It's the affirmation of millions of people that's praying for you to wake up. That's what it is. So will you wake up? Will you do something? The world is watching. Stay blessed.